Hey guys, we have the new Boxy Charm. It's the February one, as that is the month we're in. It's the gonna... Be My Glamantine. That's terrible. <laughs> it's like they hired me to write stuff for it. It's like a decently large box. I don't too, know what this is. Exciting. It's heavy. It is. It is. It is heavy. Bally bomb. Uh, it is Bally Balm. It is the pineapple lip scrub. Oh, I'm going to kiss you Ooh. so much if you wear this. Well, oh, my God. You don't wear it. You scrub it, and then you wipe it I off. I don't care. I'm going to scrub my lips against yours with Gross. this. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, all the dead skin. I love pineapple so much. Penelope. I'm going to eat this. Oh. This rich, indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance. Fragrance. <laughs> fragrance. Fragrance. It's, it's very fragrant. It's what brings us together. <laughs> Smell that. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, and exfoliating sugar cane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead skin cells, plus an ultra smoothing blend of the finest botanicals. The super hydrating coconut oil and aromatic mixture of cinnamon, orange, and vanilla essential oils will leave your lips soft and supple. Wonderful. Can't wait. I like a, lip, a good lip scrub. Okay. This is a detox ma max mask. Wow. Wow. So, this is uh, from Teamy Blends. This is a green tea detox mask. This mineral-rich mask will be a must-have in your self-care routine. Made with organic matcha, green tea, lemongrass, and bentonite clay, this naturally detoxifying mask is formulated to rid pores of impurities while replenishing the skin with necessary superfood nutrients. It's a mask, so I have to do it now. Does this give anyone else the... Um, the Helene mint julep mask vibes because it does to me. I guess we're doing masks. That actually smells pretty good. It does smell nice. All right, so I guess we're doing. I guess we're doing masks then. Huzzah! We have a <laughs> thumbnail. Yay! We could both do the lip scrub. What is that? That is from Elamasca Hydra Setting Spray. Hydra Setting Spray is a lightweight mist that locks in makeup for a flawless, dewy finish. This non-stick formula dries fast to set your makeup all day. Infused with... I was read this wrong. With P-peptides. I almost said P-pesticides. P-peptides. <laughs> P-peptides. Uh, <laughs> P-P-peptides. Uh, rich in amino acids. Hydra Setting Spray will leave the skin feeling refreshed and moisturized. Why... Why can't I? Why is why talk today? But why? What is that? I sprayed it on my hand. A little bit of the gloop gloop. Why is it? Is it? Is it chalky? It's white. Maybe you have to shake it first. Maybe. There you go. Spray it on my. Know. Spray it on my hand after you shake it. Yeah. Uh. No. It's still like white and runny. And also, like, stop sending me stuff for glowy skin. I'm already glowy. You literally filled it out to say that you filled out the thing that said you have oil, oily I know. ass skin. Stop sending me glow stuff. I'm already glowing enough with my natural sebum. You look concerned. No, it's, uh, there you go. It's just very unique what just, ha what just happened. This is the Wander Beauty Wanderous Escape Eyeshadow Palette. Featuring hyaluronic acid, which I only know how to say because of this channel, <laughs> to help skin retain moisture and rose hip seed oil. Is that is that, is that really a thing? Rose hip? Yeah. Rose hip seed oil to help smooth out dry skin. This palette includes a mix of, nat of neutral and bold colors with shimmer, satin, and matte finishes that are crease-proof for all-day wear. We'll see. I do like this brand though. This I've had at least one palette from this brand and I do really like their formula. Let's take a peek. Ooh. Uh, I oohed at that blue. I the blue caught the blue caught my eye. But does everything just generally look the same Let me to see. anyone else? Like Mm. There's that pop of blue, which is really pretty, which I like. The pink, there's like a shiny pink, like a shiny gold. Yeah, but... A shiny, like... Everything else is so neutral. Like, 
I like that shiny, like, rose gold. Yeah, yeah, the, f- the flourish. Yeah, the one and that's... This, and the blue is called sea glass, which is actually very appropriate yeah. for it. I kind of wish it wasn't sparkly, though, because I feel like I would get more use out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it looks like there's two shimmers, three shimmers, and three sparkles, four mattes. Flourish is really pretty. Sea glass is really pretty. I feel like I have all those other colors Elsewhere. in other palettes. In like every other palette yeah. you've ever gotten. So that's a little disappointing, but I know the formula is going to be good, but still kind of like. Well, I mean, eh. so you got the eyeshadow palette. What else do you need? Brushes. Highlighter palette. Why? I mean, oh. <laughs> um, open it up. I see that you're gonna you're gonna like it. This what is from is this? Ace Beauté. Oh, I've heard of them. Glow Essentials oh. Highlighter. Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. Look at the whites. Those are pretty. I feel fi- I figured you would actually like you would like you would like the whites. I'm just gonna see the difference do some between swatcheroos the here. I wanted to see the difference in those two. What? Yeah, that's like a really that's light. That's like pink. a champagne. Yeah, that's like a really light. Kind of like that's the a pure formulation white. on these. Is like really buttery. I could see these blending out really nicely. A buttery. I don't know if they're. Here. So, the one closest to his face is the more champagney one. The one closest to me is the more like cool toned and then there's like a I guess the one in the middle would be more champagne actually but those are really pretty I'm going to swatch the other ones on my other hand just so we can get like a full picture here so the Ace Beauté Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette is all you need to get your glow on each shade is a buildable and easily glides on or each shade is buildable and easily glides on the skin giving you a seamless glow glowing look those are really pretty I think we're fine those are really really pretty that's good I don't know that I would get too much use out of the ones on the bottom like as much as you would the one. Yeah, on the I mean, I could use the ones on the bottom as like an eyeshadow, but also I have like five thousand eyeshadow palettes now, so do I really need to do that? I don't. I really don't want to use that setting spray like ever. I was so tempted just to spray it on my face like right now no. when I opened it. You're so, I'm just so glad you didn't do that. I would have been so pissed <laughs> because I feel like. If it's glowy, it's going to break down my mascara really bad. And I have, like, tubing mascara on. So that that kind of formula hates a lot of... Um, so it looks like you're giving this away to somebody. Hydrating products. Who do I know that has dry skin? Friends, if you watch these videos, which I really hope you do, <laughs> Friends, let me know. Romans, countrymen, lend me your dry skin. I feel like I'm most excited... Probably for the highlighter palette and the lip scrub. And the mask seems pretty cool. All right, hold, let's read the directions on the mask first before we, so we can avoid the last mask escapade that occurred with me. I don't believe I had a mascapade the last time. I did. Mm-hmm. Dampen face slightly with water. With fingertips, apply thin to medium later on face and neck. Ooh, on the neck? On the neck. Too. Under your beard. Apply it under here. But that's my underbeard. Um, allow 10-15 minutes for mask to dry. Simply wash off with water and pat skin dry. Use one to four times weekly as needed. That's a lot. Best applied at night. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do masks tomorrow night, Sunday night. We could do that since we're not planning on leaving the house. Mask maker, mask maker, make me a mask. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be like... (gasps) We'll watch this while we're watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre because masks... It's fitting. Uh, all right, so you're gonna try on stuff and 
try on makeup and I'm going to magically disappear and she's going to teleport to my chair. Be like a time warp because I'm definitely not going to do it tonight because I already have my face on. Are we going to do so do we do we need to do like the like the Wayne's world like the Scooby Doo ending? Okay, so I got my face makeup on, eyebrows. Um I figured why film that if it's just basically the lip stuff the highlighter palette and the eyeshadow palette and um, I'm gonna start out with that lip stuff because I feel like I could use a little exfoliating this smells amazing I just cracked open my other Jack Black lip balm there was a mint one and a pineapple one we're on to pineapple so we got a theme going on so just gonna apply that I can feel the sugar in it It's a lip scrub. I don't feel like it's really aggressive, which is nice. It does have a nice bit of grit to it. As you can probably see, it's very shiny, very emollient. I'm trying so hard not to get this all over my face. It tastes amazing too. It's gonna cap that. A little paper towel here to wipe off some of the residue because it's nasty. Hopefully not completely all over my face, but I think that's nice. Would use again. I probably should exfoliate my lips a lot more than I do, but what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna prime my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with that eyeshadow. So I'm priming with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I may or may not still have a piece of sugar on my finger that I might have just ground into my eyelid. We're going to ignore that. Oh, I have that setting spray too. Ugh, I really don't want to use that. I used like a BB cream and just set it with a little powder and then contoured over it because I just didn't feel like I wanted a heavy face of makeup today because I'm just going to be like doing stuff around the house. So that's where I'm going with that, is that's already glowy. I don't know how much more glowy I need to be, the glowy setting spray. So like all the matte colors in this are darker. So I mean, I think I'm going to go, this is kind of like a cool tone. I'm going to go with that and just put that in my crease right away and then I think I really want to use that blue so I'm definitely going in that direction see how these apply I keep getting my sleeve stuck on this freaking chair gorgeous that feels like nothing on my skin like sometimes when you apply an eyeshadow and you feel it tugging a little bit and you're like mm. but yeah I feel nothing Very pretty. And just for like one tap, that's a decent amount of pigment, I feel like. There's no skin tone in here for me. So I'm going to have to grab a different palette just to do under my brow. So I have really oily eyelids and I need something to kind of buffer or else we're not going to have a great time. I'll do that off camera though. So for that shimmer, I'm going in with my finger because otherwise I feel like it's going to get everywhere. And oh my God, that is so pretty. 
going to put that all over my eyelid and hello, like that's really, really nice. I know for a hundred percent sure this is going to be all over my face, but that's just kind of the nature of glitter. I knew what I was in for when I chose this path. That's really pretty. Pop that on the other eye. It's giving me like early 2000s, late 90s vibes. That one really light blue powder eyeshadow that we saw everywhere in like clothing trends and makeup. I was a big fan of that for makeup and probably used it in an inappropriate amount, but like, who cares? It's makeup. Yep, already all over my face. What are you gonna do? I knew it was gonna happen. Now I gotta figure out a sneaky way to get that off my cheek, but I'm gonna finish my eyes and I'll be right back. All right, so I have finished up my eyes for the most part. I used that blue sea glass shade. I used, I think it was this one underneath my lash line. I added a bit of this darker one to the upper part in the crease just to give it a little more dimension. And I had to take that down to the inner corner a little bit because it's so pretty and I love it. So I did a lip that I'm not wild about, but I did use liquid lipstick underneath the gloss and it applied really, really nicely. So that exfoliation did really work. I'm going to go for the highlighter. I think for my ooh, skin tone, probably the lightest one maybe, or the lighter one with pink, because I am really pink, is going to be the best for me. So I'm just going to swirl in there, tap off a little bit. Oh my god. This is definitely like a little dabble do ya kind of situation. That is so pretty. I think that's a little bit too light for me. But I'm going to go over it with the the pinky toned one, I think that is gorgeous. I like either really subtle highlighters that just make it look like there's a sheen or I like just really bold. There's like no in between for me. There's no gray area. That is gorgeous. Oh my God. So like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of that pinky toned one over it just to like try to get that white cast gone. I just want to put this all over my face, to be honest. If you're someone that cares about how highlighters are going to pick up in your texture, this probably isn't for you. And probably highlighters in general just aren't for you, but I do not care at all. I love this. This is so pretty. I'm going to take a little highlighter brush and I think I'm going to go in with that, that very pink one just to highlight like under my brow bone because it's gorgeous. And if we're going to be shiny and sparkly, we might as well just be shiny and sparkly everywhere. This is so pretty. I'm obsessed. Usually highlighters are kind of meh. They're either hit or miss, in my opinion. The ones I've tried out and I really, 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 really like this. I'm going to take that and go in my inner corner next to that blue. Like, come on, that's so pretty. I did not grab a brush to blend this out at all. Oh well. I 
I love this. That's gorgeous. I love this so much. I'm just going to blend that a little bit. It's probably not going to blend too much, but I'll be back. All right. I think it still maintains that like really glass like I don't think there's glitter in it either maybe a little bit I can't tell if that's from like what fell from my eyeshadow or not but like honestly if there's a little glitter in it I don't care because it's not like I'm putting a glitter eyeshadow onto my face so I'm happy about that I've strategically tried to miss all the really dry spots on my face. I recently had a very, very bad flare of eczema. That was kind of like from here down to like my collarbones. So if you see any of that remaining, no, you didn't. Don't be rude. That's amazing. I love that. I guess I'm going to do the setting spray. I really don't want to, but it was in the box. I'm going to try everything that's in the box, so where's my fan? I don't know where my fan is, so hopefully this just is fine. Here we go. All right, I don't see any white splotches, so I was probably just being dramatic earlier. This side of my face feels a little dry. Because I was spraying it very close to my hand when I was in the, the unboxing section. So it could just be me being dramatic. And it's really not that bad. But like I can feel it's on my eyelids. And that's always a concern if it's a hydrating setting spray. That it's going to make my eyelids way more oily. So I should have grabbed my fan. But here we go. I hope everyone's enjoying my pajamas. I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. I'm going to take my mirror down. Um, yeah, I mean, it's about 1 o'clock now. I'm going to do some stuff around the house and then check in later. I really want to do that mm -hmm. mask and do like a after of how it makes my skin feel. So I'll see you in a few hours, which will be just a few seconds. Bye. Alright, so here's my check-in. Obviously, I did not get dressed, but I was doing stuff all day, so that counts as being productive, I suppose. I feel like the eyeshadow held up pretty well. I'm very excited. It didn't really fade too, too much. Um, the setting spray, I'm obviously very shiny. I mean, I did use a BB cream, so that's going to make me a little bit more shiny in general, even if it is a mattifying BB cream. Just the moisturizing nature of it just I mean it's not like terrible though I don't hate it um I'm going to take my makeup off and do that mask quick because I still want to give that a little bit of a review so I don't really on the day-to-day -day, use makeup wipes to take my makeup off because I care about my skin but this is for science so I'm just going to take one for the team. Maybe the mask will cancel out how terrible makeup wipes are. Lovely. We got those, I think they're called Real Good. They're the, the stuffed chicken breast that they sell. Real food? Real good? Real good food? I don't know. They sell them at Costco. And we had that for dinner with uh, just like seasoned brussels sprouts and it's literally what dreams are made of if you're into chicken and cheese it was like two different kinds of cheese a chicken breast like on the inside a chicken breast wrapped in bacon wonderful it was really satisfying and it didn't taste like it was a frozen food which i was pretty surprised about so i was kind of iffy about it at first but all the things I saw on TikTok really um, were truthful, so Queen Helene vibes.
It really does smell like green tea. That matcha. This is such a good look. Also, <coughs> in other good news, I texted my boss and asked her if I could use PTO for tomorrow because we have one provider in and I'm trying to get my car inspected. This is really hard to do in the monitor because everything's backwards. I don't want to get that too close to my, oh, it's in my hair, isn't it? Well, I'll just, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Wasn't really planning on washing my hair, but I may have to use a mirror because it's just, it's confusing. That's better. The color of this is wild. I'm getting a little bit of like a tingling. I wouldn't say it's burning right off the bat, but it's definitely a tingle. This is a really pretty color. It's like that, that one green that was really popular in the sixties. I'm very much into sixties aesthetic like the style and everything is just so pretty and I love like all the like this kind of green and the mustard yellows and that really vibrant blue I may have put too much on my forehead I'm trying so hard not to get this in my hair I wanted to not wash my hair tonight because I want to color it tomorrow we'll see I mean I I could probably still color it and just wash my hairline really well. <coughs> I think this really suits my eyes. <laughs> Cute. Does anyone else get that urge when you do a face mask to just start quoting Mrs. Doubtfire? Or is that just me? It could just be me. I'm, I guess, going to leave this on for 10 minutes and then I'll wash it off. It is, wow, it's everywhere on my hands, okay. Dear God. I tried to get Joey to come back and do a mask with me because he's streaming later and I thought that this would be great for his skin, but he declined. Here he comes. Nope. He's going in the bathroom. Damn. This is, I can feel it tightening already around my mouth. I'm sure that it would probably dry down significantly more if I had done a way thinner layer, but. I just feel like once I scoop it out, I don't really want to put it back in because it's kind of gross. It's a little unhygienic. So, yeah, I don't think I should sit here and talk for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to stop the video and then I'll come back when it's nice and hard. Gross. When it's dried down. Okay, it is off. It got really tight just within the... 10 minutes it was on that I couldn't like move my mouth or talk. I was going to check in before I washed it off, but there was just, there was no way I was going to be saying anything. It was just like, whoosh. so it's a detox mask. I feel like my skin feels like really soft, really smooth. It was a little rough getting it off. I used one of the makeup eraser towels to like kind of work it off because I've I just feel like if you use your fingers you're just gonna mush it everywhere and then it gets wet and then you're mushing it everywhere I didn't want to get it in my hair didn't want to get it in my eyes <coughs> excuse me didn't want to get it all over the bathroom so that was my plan I don't know it feels nice I'm surprised that you can use it as many times during the week as it claims you can because with detox you figure like drawing impurities out, it would dry your skin out, but who knows? Maybe it's the, the green tea formulation has something different. I don't know that I would use it four times a week just because my skin is really finicky and really sensitive. So probably not for me. 
Uh, the standout star of this whole box, I would have to say, is the highlighter palette. I just, I freaking love it. It's so amazing. I, I know I kind of complained that I can't use the deeper shades really for my skin tone, but if they're that pretty as a highlighter, I imagine they would also be equally as pretty as a eyeshadow topper. And also, like, when has something being not the ideal color ever stopped me? So I, I really, I would use any of those colors as a highlighter. They're beautiful. I love them. They lasted. Just gorgeous. Perfect. 10,000 chef's kisses. Did we get any of the same stuff in our boxes? Let me know down below. Um, did you spend all of your Sunday as well in a full face of makeup and uh, Deadpool pajamas? Because that's what I did. And I'm going to get ready to uh, change into my nice fresh pajamas and go to bed. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you got in your boxy charm. What did you think? of those highlighters. Have you used this mask? Let me know if you've tried any of these products. I'd love to know your opinions. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for all notifications of further uploads, live streams. That's not right. That's the bell. I haven't done an outro in a while, but thumbs up the video. If you did like the video, you could hit the bell for all notifications. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. And um, it's kind of weird because I don't usually end these videos like looking like a naked bull rat. That's usually how I start them. So whatever. I hope everyone had a great Sunday or whatever day it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you later. Bye.